Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 24th of 2021. Well, it is titled Pleiades, the Seven Sisters Star Cluster. So what do we see here? Well, this is an open star cluster known as the Pleiades and is very prominent, prominent in the winter sky and is located in the constellation of Taurus. So it's very close to Orion, which is all, which is a prominent winter constellation. Now the Pleiades is a very small compact star cluster, but it is easily visible with the naked eye if you know where to look. And in fact, when you're looking not quite at it, you can see it rather distinctly as a grouping of stars. Now you don't want to stare straight at it, it makes it actually harder to see. If you look a little bit off of it, uh, up in the constellation of Taurus, you'll see a fuzzy patch there. And if you look a little off from that, you can usually see pretty well the these Pleiades cluster. It's an example of an open cluster of stars. And that is a cluster that is not gravitationally bound together. So here we see the uh, cluster the stars as they are in a dust cloud and we see what we call a reflection nebula. And that is the light from these stars being reflected off the dust cloud which the Pleiades happen to be located in. So the dust is scattered or sorry the light is scattered by the dust and the blue light is better scattered than red light so it gives a very distinct blue appearance. Also the Pleiades is a relatively young cluster so we do tend to have more blue stars as well. But we see the remnants of the dust there in this nice deep image we can actually see the uh, dust around as well. Now there are six prominent uh, stars which would represent six of the seven sisters. And one of the legends about this is that perhaps the seventh star one of these stars has actually faded over time as we know stars can get brighter or fainter. So it's quite possible that another star it was that used to be here was has become a little bit fainter and no longer easily visible to the naked eye. So the most prominent six are the brightest stars in this cluster. But there may have been another one that has now faded a little bit and no longer easily visible with the naked eye. So why do we call it the seven sisters when you normally see six? Well, perhaps it was seven thousands of years ago and perhaps it will be again. But of course, the number of stars that can actually be seen will depend on how dark the sky is in your area and how good your eyesight is, how well you're able to pick out some of these stars from the surrounding area. So that was our picture of the day for November 24th of 2021. It was titled Pleiades, the Seven Sisters Star Cluster. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.